So, uh, three or four people asked over the years, uh, could I ever do relationship advice, relationship kind of advice, so basically, girls and boys and all that, so even boys and girls and girls and boys and boys, you know, but I would not be very up to date with that, to be honest with you, I'm more of an older style person, to be honest with you, but I do respect them, I do actually very respect them, I mean, there's no harm in it. The church might have seen no uh, harm in it, but I don't see any harm in it. There's no harm in it. Yeah, your own person, if you if you feel that way about somebody, then go with it. That's that's all I say. I'm not going to... I'm not against anybody. I'm not even making this video against anybody. I'm not even supporting the church. I don't even support the Catholic Church for what they've done in this country. Just to get that out there. But relationship advice. Uh, so way, kind of the way I walk, to be honest with you. I never... I only had about one girlfriend in my whole life, which is saying something I suppose and that never really worked out that well so uh it didn't work out too well so um it didn't end it didn't end very well so I just I suppose it's very hard for me to say I know it's it, you're probably just like oh fuck this video I'm just leaving but it is very hard it's very hard to explain I feel different ways to be honest with you. but like if you're like a fo your forced impressions do matter I suppose your first impressions do matter. Say if you meet her on a, a dad or something, you meet her in. Say if you meet her on a hot summer's day, then it doesn't matter because she'd be all sweaty and all that, and that's just getting fucking out of the question. But, uh, you know, it does matter. The first impression does matter. That's uh, So don't act like a bollocks if you know you're going to like, you're going to meet someone that you're going to marry, maybe, and have children with and all that. So. Don't act like a bollocks. <laughs> that's the that's the first uh, rule of my life. To be honest, if you're going to meet with a girl, but to be honest with you, I'm quite happy to be honest with you, where I am at the moment. Um, yeah, just be yourself. That's another thing. I want if I ever talk to girl that I like, or let's just say I do have an eye on some girl now at the moment. But you know, you you know the way you can't say anything and. If you say anything, somebody would just have to make a, a laugh at you and you'd be just made a laugh at for years and years to come. You know what I'm saying? You, your name would be tarnished if you say, if you go to this girl and say, I, I love you and all that and all that. And then she goes and tells somebody, then your whole life is fucked. Because uh, that's the way I kind of feel about this this girl I like, but I'm not going to really say her name or anything like that. But for me, it's hard to say it to her openly that I like her. Because I'm just too nervous of a person and too ridiculously nervous to even say to her that I love you and all that. So, um, yeah, just be yourself. And if you do have confidence, go and say it to her. Because, I mean, as I said, for me, it feels like my whole life is going to blow up as soon as she tells somebody. But if you have confidence, if you have confidence in yourself and if you be strong and be brave, I suppose... I suppose you will show you can have a testimony if you like so what I like her I do like her and I'm not going to say I don't like her and if you have that kind of balls then you're going to give yourself a bigger impression than you did already and you should be all like oh geez this man's very tough and that's what women are looking for tough toughness and men and mostly so um, I can't really really say much more I never actually was okay I'm more political to be honest with you, than relationship wise but I just say be yourself and force the questions do matter and and what you do too like if you bring her on a date to say to the top and <laughs> that's not gonna really end well to you uh so if you bring her to the top and just say this is a day, date and have a little table and everything and canned and wine and all that and maybe the wine might be good but the top the smell you know bring her to a nice restaurant spend a bit of money on her and you win a war for the Beyonce. That's what I kind of say, the Beyonce. Or even a man, too. Even though I meant to say the other way around. Even if a woman wants to bring a man to the top and just get a good good wine, get drunk, and then nobody give a fuck after that. Uh, you know, it's a, I'm very not good in this, so just forgive me for it. It's very, I'm just very bad. This is the first time ever I talked about something that I never actually knew too much about, to be honest. I never... Like, I never really... As I said, I only had one girlfriend in my whole life and one maybe future girlfriend who obviously doesn't like me because I'm just an old bollocks that doesn't have a clue what I'm talking about because I'm just so stupid. Anyway, <laughs> just taking the band out, it's never going to work out for me. It might work out for other people, but it won't work out for me because nothing never works out for me, to be honest. 
uh, yeah, so it never woke out. So yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs> Subscribe for more. And this is just the weirdest thing I've ever had to do in my life. But anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. And bye.